our uh, whole intention of having this uh, get in get fit series is uh, basically uh, you know to empower each one of us i am uh, sure that you know most of us have understood the importance of health and importance of immunity during these testing times so in a very small nutshell if i have to say today the entire is our effort uh, in the get in get fit series to just see that each of us have a better health and uh, thereby uh, taking care of ourselves so with that small intention we have started this get in get fit series and the whole idea of the get in get fit series is to bring in as many uh, like minded people uh, together in a platform and this platform is a absolutely free platform we are not charging anybody money nor we are giving anybody money uh, to you know get in or you know uh, just take care of the health so this is an absolutely zero investment uh, especially in these times i can definitely tell that and uh, i want to throw a certain more light okay. on uh, roda who is our expert speaker for the day so roda has been my senior in school uh, little did i know that i could call her my senior she is much 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 my senior uh, but we got connected uh, two years back when uh, both of us were part of the uh, same alumni uh, that is our uh, school alumni uh, group and uh, i was very impressed by her a very uh, a very outgoing person a very very friendly person and a high achiever and uh, then when i got to know her a little more i realized that you know uh, uh, my uncle uh, and uh, she were working in the same uh, arendia office and where she served for uh, over 33 years and that is a phenomenal uh, uh, event and uh, uh, not only she did she uh, you know go ahead with her uh, work life uh, professional life her uh, family personal life Uh, but after the age of 65 mostly people will think what to do after retirement right but uh, until and unless your spirits retire there is nothing called retirement in this life and i'm so impressed uh, with the kind of mindset she developed after the age of 65 she took up to sports on a very professional level and uh, thereby uh, you know she uh, has excelled uh, you know just picking up a sport is not a big deal but uh, you know excelling in that is really a big deal so uh, that is what she did and uh, it gives me so much of uh, a pleasure uh, and it's my proud privilege to bring her uh, you know amidst all of us today uh, so welcoming roda again uh, welcome roda and uh, uh with all those thanks a plus i'm going to invite you on this virtual stage and we are all ready to hear you and your story and all, what all you got thank you very much thank you thank you vidya dr vidya hari for <laughs> inviting me to share my journey with your get in get fit group but before i go on i want to acknowledge that your baby this get and get fit fantastic effort to conceptualize it at this time so that people get a nice positive flat platform to share feelings exercise together and generally experience the feel good factor thank you so much um you know it's odd this pandemic has been uh, our uh, company for about 6 months now it's funny you know to not to be talking to an audience and not to <laughs> but i am going to just go ahead and make the best of it because when you don't have someone sitting in front of you it's a bit different but however i just want to say it's never too late to be the one you want to be and age is only a number believe in yourself with this i want to just start about talking about uh, how from the time i was a young person to now what made me actually um, do what i'm doing so i am the third born between two boys and i grew up with my brothers and their friends in the early 60s we climbed trees we played bombaram holly collie gilli dande and hide and seek and all what the boys played i was a little tomboy 
And in the community we lived, all the kids would come down to play cricket and tennis, and there was plenty of room to play outdoors. So that's what we did most of the time, played physical games. Fast forward. I used to swim at the Gymkhana Club every morning after my retirement. And uh, on one such day, I found a young member, Gayatri Ramesh, with her daughter, who used to be uh, taking part in um, competitive swimming. So she saw me swim up and down and she said, ma'am, do you know this, this, um, have you ever taken part in the masters? I said, what is masters? So she said, oh, you know, it's a platform that uh, people like you can um, take part in. So I said, doing what? She said, you know, you can come and swim because there are so many other people and uh, I can see you swim. I think you do really well. Why don't we take, give it a shot? So I said, Gayatri, I have never done something like that. I mean, do you really think? She said, yes, yes, I'm telling you. So I said, okay, then what do we do? So she said, you know, in Vishakapatna, there is a master's uh, national level coming up. I said, oh, you? I said, you know, Gayatri, nationals? I haven't even swum somewhere else. What are you talking about nationals? So she said, no, ma'am, just come. Let's go. I'm going. So why don't you come with me? And, you know, I found I had my very good classmate and friend, Sunita Raju, who was living in Vishakapatnam. So I gave her a call and I said, hey, Suni, I'm coming to Vishakapatnam. Yeah, oh, my goodness. You know how church park girls have got all... <laughs> I am actually in college, by the way. Yeah, we all got so excited. She was highly excited, and so was I. And then I got my uh, Jinkana has a coach. So I told Mr. Senthil, I'm not performing. If I'm not performing, I'm not performing. I'm not performing. I'm not performing. I'm not So, okay, but great. This thing, I said, Chalo, let me try. What's the harm? You know, opportunity knocks, grab it. Okay. So I did a little bit of up and down and, you know, time myself and all that. And off we were. So my friend Sunita made the reservation for me in the Walter Club, which is associated with the Gymkhana Club. Beautiful colonial old building and a really nice place. So Gayatri and me went together. We got on really well. We shared. And then, of course, uh, I had lunch with Sunita and all that. That evening, there was a briefing. So there were people in this um, place in Vyakapatnam, a government swimming pool, but it was kind of painted up and, you know, nice job done. Went there and found like over a thousand people just waiting to be briefed, you know. And they were all like, uh, I hadn't uh, never seen, I mean, so many people at one meet. That was my first time. So we listened to what they had to say and all that and everything. Then the next morning was D-Day, my first race. So here I was all uh, dressed in my one-piece flowery American, you know, the usual one-piece suit with a nice matching cap and all that. And uh, we were called, we were given told what to do and everything. My turn came for my swimming. So I went, I stood in my lane and I stood right at the bottom because, see, I have never jumped from heights and all that. And, and I just swim. I mean, I'm a club swimmer, for heaven's sake. So I stood there. There is a platform about two feet higher where you can't jump. And if you jump from there, then you get a nice, uh, uh, you know, you get a bigger jump, which yeah. of course I, I couldn't do. But I just jumped from the top. And I had these uh, Tamil Nadu swimmers, you know, some other boys and uh, girls that were cheering for me all along. Ran along the edge all the way for the uh, 50 meters to the edge. <laughs> I just kept swimming. I swam for my life. I mean, I just pulled as much as I could. And my goodness, when I finished, I came first. I said, oops, first. Wow. And Gayatri was shouting from the side and saying, hey, you came first, you came first. Then I, there are these big boards on the side there that have the name and the timing and everything, you know. And it was such an exciting thing for me because I've never been in something like that where there's a red light flashing and, and uh, you know, the numbers coming up and everything. And uh, I was thrilled to bits, of course. I got out and found that I was the only one dressed in that one piece, flag swimsuit. All the others were in big style in their speedo, you know, uh, one piece things with those uh, matching hand caps and uh, swim caps and everything. And I felt, oops. But anyway, hell, I said, okay, I'm 65. It doesn't matter. They put me down to a 65 year old woman and it doesn't really matter. So that was day one, one gold medal down. 
I was quite excited. And then, of course, Gayatri said, I told you so, I told you so. And, um, and then I have another classmate called Sunila Aparao, uh, Dajapati Dajul, that lives in Vijayanagaram. So she knew I was there. She called and said, what happened? I said, hey, gold medal. So she said, hey, great. Yeah, OK, OK, you should get the rest all. Gold medal. You should get all gold medal. So anyway, the next day again was another uh, this thing. Of course, the same thing happened. And uh, my cheerers, you know, my cheerleaders, they were in their 30s, I think, young boys and girls. They screamed on the side and ran, come on, come on. Again, I got caught. <laughs> so it was like a fantastic experience for me. Because to get three gold medals on my first national meet, it was a national meet. And I was really happy that I could achieve. I mean, I didn't know I was capable of getting on a national level. Though these are by age groups, you know, it's 35 years. And this is like from 35 to 90. So I was somewhere in between 65 plus. But I thought it was a great thing. Wow. Anyway, after that, we had... Um, See, the upside of that whole uh, visit also was that I got to meet my friend. She took me to Vijayanagaram. I met her family and her um, grandchildren and all that. And also spent some time looking around uh, Vishakapatnam. So I said, wow, this is a nice way to get to see places you haven't seen even, you know. It's an opportunity, which I thought was just fantastic. Very, very, um, very nice. I, I loved it. Rewind back. My father was a disciplinarian and we were in the habit of working up very early. He would switch the fan off and remove the sheet so we couldn't sleep. <laughs> and we had to do something every day, like either walk, run around the block, cycle. And uh, all of us had that, we, we grew up with that um, thing to say consistency and discipline was most important. One very fond memory, I'm sure my siblings agree with me, is that on uh, weekends we used to be taken to the pool in in uh, Buhari in Marina and swim there he used to throw us in like tadpoles and hold a um, rope and we had to swim like tadpoles that's how we all learned four of us we all learned to swim that way and we used to have this fantastic breakfast at Buhari after that and loved it we enjoyed it very very uh, nice memories both my brothers are rowing champions and at the boat club um, which was their second home they are both, uh, they were very consistent also. I, in fact, uh, studied in a school called Presentation Convent Church Park, where uh, they encouraged us. Uh, games was a huge part of my uh, school going life. And uh, sports, we had fantastic sports days and the march pass. And um, we had something called the tactical march, which was very, very well known in um, Chennai, uh, you know. Church Park was known for its sports day. We had tactical marches with a nice uh, team every year. The gold. The gold she got. Go ahead, uh, Rhoda. Uh, Mommy, I'm muted. Can you unmute yourself? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Sorry. Okay. Okay. Can I carry on? Yes. 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 All right. So I was saying um, church park is where I kind of, uh, all of us, we, you know, I learned to leadership qualities, coordination, cooperation, and respect uh, for teachers and seniors. In school, uh, games was an essential part of our curriculum. And we played uh, penny coit, netball, throw ball. And by the time I left Church Park, I had built a very strong sports base. Then a new chapter was about to begin, Stella Maris College. Again, most of my classmates came to Stella. I was games captain there for two years, and we had one formidable teacher called Mrs. Mangla Dure. And uh, while at Church Park, it was the first time Irene called a friend of mine and me started the softball team in Stella Maris College and uh, we had great train rides to all the colleges and then MCC, Tambaram, etc. Had a great time up and down, uh, had so much fun and won everything that year. Church Park, I mean, uh, Stella Maris was champion in softball that year. And uh, 
Sports Day in Stellamaris also was a great uh, time for all of us. Taught me responsibility, accountability. I had to stay back and lock up everything, all the equipment, etc., and go. So I've always had sports in my life, but I never kind of competed at a at a national level and all that. That was a kind of a new uh, thing of mine. Then I joined Air India and served, like uh, Vidya said, 33 years, holding responsible positions. But I must say that you know, when you work for somebody like Air India, you're married to the job. You can't really have something, uh, you know, you can't pursue any hobbies or anything that uh, expects you to be there at a particular time because we all worked on shifts and everything. It was difficult. But even there, being sports secretary, my wonderful colleagues in Air India and me, we formed committees and we... I was a sports secretary, I had JV and all the others, Ramki, JV, etc., all my colleagues that helped out and we had these beautiful sports days for 400 people and uh, it brought us all together and we had a lot of uh, camaraderie, uh, um, families met on sports day, got to know each other and I learned there that building relationships, being empathetic, sympathetic and understanding colleagues was very, very important. We also brought the travel trade together, having cricket tournaments with other agencies. And um, that was also a big hit. Um, that was, uh, I'm talking about Air India. Then came retirement. Of course, you know, everybody has to retire. But I, I kind of didn't miss working because I was quite happy to kind of, you know, be on my own and um, not to do, not to do, didn't do anything great, but found that I had, uh, I could have the time to pursue my interests after that. So I used to go, we have a beautiful park, Haddo's Park, just right next to my house. That became a daily um, routine. And as soon as it opened up, thanks to CM Jailalita, it was converted into a beautiful park. A lot of the members started meeting and we had yoga classes, we played badminton, we had a walking uh, uh, part and also we did laughter so we had the ladies met we had it became a social thing you know after a while everything and they were all kind of 60 plus most of the women so we had um, celebrated functions there we had pity parties games and there was a lot of camar camaraderie and friendship um, while at the park I met a friend called Mana Anandavel she used to walk with her husband she looked at me and she said, Emma, you have an athletic body. Why are you doing athletics? Join so I said, what is athletics? No, there is something called throws. Ma. And she was a champ. I mean, she, she was older than me and a champion. Very well kept, very well preserved, pretty woman. And um, she kind of said, you know, I should go there. So one day she said, so I got ready, picked me up from home, took me to Nehru Stadium. I'm sorry, am I being heard? Yes, yes, Rhoda. Somebody okay, has switched on their that? audio, that's all. You go okay, ahead. Okay. All yeah, right. you go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I was talking about um, Mana and Nehru Stadium. She picked me up, we went, There's a, there was a coach there called Mr. Senthil, who uh, looked at my clothes, I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to show you guys what the, the uh, equipment is in a, after I'm done. I will show you what it is. Because I had never seen a hammer in my life till then, you know. Discuss, yes. And short putt, yes, but hammer I'd never seen. So when I went there, the uh, uh, Stalin, um, the coach helped me and he said, Sir, you put it you put it in, you put it in, you put it and all that kind of thing. So I was like, um, okay, I did it. And then he told me, he said, you know, you have the power, but you need to learn the technique and you need practice because only with that you can do something. And there again, up and coming was a district meet or a state meet at Tanjavur. So... Mana was really kind. She was very sweet. She was my, kind, I can say partly a mentor. And then of course we have our uh, sweet patient secretary, Rukmani Devi Taluri, who was also very encouraging. And um, for me, it was the first time I was 65 plus. I, I, I was fitted into the 65 plus category. 
where we went in Tanjavur, of course, the train again had a great time on the train, met a lot of athletes from different backgrounds. And you have to learn to mix and meet and talk. And, you know, it was a totally different, um, uh, what do you say, uh, experience for me. And, um, yeah, when we went to Tanjavur, I won two golds and one silver medal. At Trichy, I won three gold medals. At Goa, we had a, own, a women's meet, only women. And um, we all flew down together. So you get to have a whole new lot of friends. Must understand, I was uh, retired. And I was kind of, uh, you know, you're not really in touch with people at work and whom you worked with and all that. You don't meet on a regular basis. So for me, it was a really nice thing to meet some women, young women, middle-aged women, older women, and uh, form a really good bonding and friendship uh, with them. And um, I, ha I was able to believe in myself and uh, say, okay, I mean, this is something I can do. And that's why you see, I don't know if all of you saw that picture with those gold medals hanging around my neck. That was from these meets, the athletic meets in Tanjavur and Trichy and Goa and the Guntur and all these places where we went and there were three each. So, you know, it um, added up and um, that's what came out of it. So I always, from that I believe, from the athletics thing, always give your best. You have to think of yourself as being the best. And if you don't have a positive mindset, there is no room for negativity. Because if you start being negative and think that, oh, will I, will it happen? Will I make it? Will I not make it? You're not going to get anywhere. So I kind of trained my mind and said, you know, no, 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 no. I have to be positive. And I'll tell myself before throwing, I'll say, no, I'm going to come first. I have to throw. I must come first. And of course, Rukmani and Mana and all behind and uh, my friend, um, Marine. Marine is another fantastic athlete. All of them will be standing there and screaming and saying, come on, come on, come on. That's enough incentive to put all you have in it and throw for all your work, you know. So I thought... Uh, I mean, I was really happy to be associated with these wonderful women and get into this uh, competitive meets, you know, national level and all that. It's a great plus for me. And after that, we, we on in December, just uh, the lockdown was in March, but in December, after all of that, we um, the Masters Athletic Federation of India, it's an organization, that encourages sports persons to showcase their talent in different areas. And they have different age groups from 35 to 90. So these, um, there was an Asia meet coming up in Kuching, Malaysia. Yeah. I was very proud to represent India in the Asian Masters meet and be part of the March Pass and pose with the flag in the sports arena. That was an experience of a lifetime. I, I felt so blessed. Rukmani, and I have a beautiful picture of Rukmani and me holding the uh, flag right there, right on the podium, you know, just in front, and uh, gives you such beautiful memories. And every time we go, we get these lovely kits that the state or for the national meet, state meet, etc. So you, you, you feel important, you know, wearing those colors, the uniform, the jackets, and marching, and taking part in these uh, wonderful uh, events. School, of course, is left a long way back, but it's great at the Masters, you do the same thing. You do the same uh, March past, you, um, you know, you're uh, meeting so many people, different colors, different uniforms. It was a fantastic experience. And um, I just want to say that uh, if any of you are keen or think that you want to come back into sport for whatever reason, if you were good at what you did, when you did what you did, and you want a platform to this. They also have badminton, they have swimming, they have uh, many other uh, genres also. And uh, there is this uh, Rukmani Devi Taluri, she's the secretary, uh, very encouraging to athletes, uh, very happy to guide newcomers and help them. And she has uh, the patience of Mother Teresa, honestly. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. She's a great woman. Nehru Stadium grounds, where the athletes practice every morning, it's got, it's full of activity. Uh, there are different events being done, high jump, long jump, hurdle, sprinting. Um, the atmosphere is electric. It's beautiful. And um, you really feel, you know, what am I doing? I mean, what am I doing at home, wasting the morning hours? I mean, it's so nice to come here and watch all these youngsters and uh, middle-aged and older people 
doing the morning routines, you know, it gives you a nice step. It makes you feel so positive and so good. And um, I think it's most important um, to feel energetic every day. For some, you should find something that um, gets your energy levels up and motivate yourself. Because if you wait for somebody else to motivate you, I don't know if that can happen. It's nicer to motivate yourself and say, okay, let me get into something. Let me do something. Let me move more. Let me not sit so much. And, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So like I said, age is a number. It's never too late to become whom you want to be. And one should believe in oneself. So with that, I think um, there are certain... Um, uh, I would, I would say, see, I've never been to a gym, but I do some exercises in my own way to help. Swimming already helped me uh, with my uh, arms and with my chest area. So I have the strength on my top, but still your arms and uh, legs and everything they need. You need flexibility. When you throw these things, you need, you need to be flexible. You need to be good with your eyesight. And um, twists and stuff like that. So I'm going to just show you a few things. See, I am not, I have no uh, certificate in any kind of or a diploma or anything like that in uh, teaching any kind of exercise. I'm not a professional person that has uh, any, you know, taken any courses or anything. It's just what I've been doing by myself, motivating myself. And learning from people like Mana, Rukmani, and Marine and all these people that I'm associated with. Uh, telling me, you know, you do this, you do this, maybe this for the arms, maybe that for that. And of course, I've always been doing yoga. So I will now show you a few. First, I'll show you the, um, the what we use. Like, what is a hammer? I don't know how many of you have seen. I'm sure my classmates in Church Park, I don't know if you've seen hammers. But I'm going to show you what a hammer is, what a discus is, and what a shot put is and then show you the stance of how it's done and why you need to strengthen or do what you need to do to get yourself going. So can I just start with that? Um, yes, yes, Rhoda. We are having a great time. Go ahead. Master. Wow. I'm just moving my... Uh, my phone to the place where it can be seen on the ground because I'll be down. Can you see me? Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is a hammer. It's got a it's got a, this uh, holder and it's got a ball underneath that weighs three kilos. So what one needs to do is hold it in front, go down, and then you swing, 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 and look back and you throw it. So you need to have flexibility. You need to move yourself, and uh, you know that's what you need to do for the hammer. So. Exercises for that, and then this is a shot, but it's a ball, you know, three kilometer. I mean, a three uh, kilo ball. You take a stance, you go down, you come up three times like this, and then you throw it with all the effort you have. Shoulder, shoulder. This thing is very important, and of course, you have a technique which they show you to do. And then this is a disc, a discus. You know, you hold it like this, you move it, and then you throw it. For that too, you need to turn, you need flexibility, and all of that. Of course, you need good eyesight. So what I'm going to do is show you a few eye exercises that I do. This is what I do. And generally, I think all, you know, they're, you're taught yoga and everything. Can you all see, am I in the right angle? Uh, yes, Rhoda, can you just get the camera a little in the front of you? Ah, this is better. This is better? Okay. A little more closer. One minute. Ah, better? Yeah, much better. Much better. Uh, what you need to do is uh, 
shut eye, close your eyes, open them, close your eyes, open them for 30 seconds, and then close them tight, blink for 30 seconds, close your eyes and open them tight and open tight and open for 30 seconds. Then look left and right. Your eyeball should move left, right, left, right, left, right. And then up, down, up, down, up, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left. Then you go in circle. Look left, left, up, middle, right, right, down, and down. Three circles that way and three circles the other way. Anti-clockwise and clockwise. Then make an eight with your eyes. Number eight. So you look up like that, come down, go up, come down, go up, come down three times. And then you just close your eyes, shut it. Think of a black dot or a black umbrella or something. Concentrate for a while. Hold it, concentrate, look at the black dot, and then release. So that is for eyes. Then what I do is for shoulders, neck, and all this for flexibility. One moment, I'll just move this because I, I think I need to stand. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we need to do the neck exercises for flexibility of your neck because when you do that, you need to be flexible in your neck. So you left, center, right, center, right, left, down, breathe out, breathe in, up, down, up, down, and then rotation, left, right. Leave your neck loose and you rotate. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. Then comes the arms. You do your arms like you do for swimming. Two, one, two, three, four, five. And then backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Then you twist the same way. You twist. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you do forward and backward bending for the spine so that the spine remains flexible. You breathe in and go back. One, two, three, four, five. I normally do ten, but this is just to show you so that you know that's what is to be done. I also do Surya Namaskar, which everybody knows and I'm not going to show. And then for the legs, you need to just strengthen your calf muscles and your uh, top. So you lie down. Before that, I want to show you the hands. See the strength in the arms and the hands. You do Bhujangasana, but do not use your body to come up. You only use your arms and that is hard to do. So you go on Bhujangasana, all your weight on your arms and come up. It is hard to do. You can do maybe five repetitions like this. That really strengthens the wrist, the elbows and the shoulder joints. Come down very slowly. As you know, yoga has to be done very slowly. Put on your weight on the arms. My goodness, it's hard to do. The regular Bhujangasana, you use your body and then you come back and do what you have to do. But when you do this, you're putting all the emphasis on your arms. The next is for your leg. It's, uh, 
it's this mountain pose which you have to move your uh, your uh, feet have to be flat but you have to kind of come out your toes and heel toes and heel and alternate you know i don't know if you can see me yes yes we can see roda see toes this way this way this way so that you feel the stretch stretch on your uh, calf muscles and also the ankles and the knees and everything gets worked out so you do about 10 repetitions of that that is very important that is what i do for my uh, what is call it yeah that's about i think what else that's about it for most of the exercises that i do as far as this is concerned then after that what we did was at the hados park we used to watch this uh, guy at the anand gandhi statue doing laughter and i think laughter is the best medicine it's amazing i had a friend called Ra La rakesh ori at the park and both of us went to to uh, marina caught hold of the guy brought him and made him uh, taught us what to do so uh, we we used to have such a great time doing that so i will show you a few laughs i'm sure many of you know but you know i will just show you how it's you have to abandon yourself no inhibitions just laugh from the bottom pit of your stomach and enjoy it so let me just we begin by say good morning <laughs>
Awesome, awesome. As we get older, you know, oh, what's happened? As we get older, actually, in uh, Vidya, I'll give it to you in two minutes, okay? Oh, there are no, lot, take your time, take your time. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things like, you know, you can do like boxing, laughter, and uh, sanit you can show sanitize, sanitizing, cough into your elbow, and uh, mix chapati maa with atta, urla karinga katpani, you can do a roast, uh, and uh, chakki, you know, making the chakki, atta, all of that. Uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously, thank you, Rakesh, honestly. <laughs> All these things, there are many things that you can do, you know, it's uh, just one of those things you implement and you carry on and have fun. Mainly, you just let yourself, if you did it alone, people will think you're cuckoo. So you need to do it in a group, which when we did at Haddos Park, Rakesh and me stood at the gate. When all the men came in, we said, Vango, Vango, please, Kuncha, after Pandango, they just looked at us like we were mad. But then, slowly, it became a huge group and we were like 20, 25. And that was such a full time. Now with this Corona thing, you know, it's not going to be great. It's not going to work out too much. So we all have to wait. I was telling Rakesh the other day that, hey, we need to do something. I say, what is this? Just life passing us by. So with that, I want to just continue to say that as women, I don't know about the men, but as women, <laughs> like we need not go and buy stuff and do. With water bottles, you can do a little arm exercise. You can use things around the house, you know, because we all have to do cooker ayatana Daily cooker ayatana, we have to do some cooking. If there's nobody to help, we can't do it after a while, it's been 10 years. So it's better to kind of, you know, get that strength and keep it going. So that we will be independent, manage, keep ourselves, don't wait for someone to keep you happy. Keep yourself happy, motivate yourself and think you are the best at what you do. I'm sure you will be able to and age, I'm telling you again, is only a number and it's never too late to be who you want to be. With that, can I say Vidya, thank you very much Vidya. And I really hope uh, I came across as at least uh, being able to tell my story. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for listening to me. <laughs> Awesome, Rhoda. As always, I guess, you know, uh, it's a pleasure to listen to you. And uh, I was just, uh, you know, wanting to tell all these uh, members who have joined us today, Get In Get With series uh, is an initiative to see that all of us have a better life ahead of us. Uh, each of us might have our own, uh, you know, stories or uh, uh, challenges which all of us are going through. But then, you know, uh, life is to live, life is to enjoy, life is to have fun. And uh, that is exactly how uh, I uh, look at my life. And uh, that's how I was. Uh, in fact, you should know the story of how I brought Rhoda here. Right. So uh, Rhoda kept saying, Vidya, I don't think I can make it. This is that. That is this. Uh, but then, you know, uh, I kept telling her, no, Rhoda, you can do it. And they're going to be with you. And uh, definitely we are going to have fun. And I just want you to be yourself. Don't, uh, you know, you don't have to say anything more. Just be yourself. Speak your mind. I know you're going to inspire a lot of people. And I can just tell you it's been worth it. Uh, the last 10 days that I have almost every day interacted with Rhoda. Uh, Rhoda would have Tamil and then you all are going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to talk to Rhoda and talk to Rhoda. I'm going to talk to Rhoda and talk to Rhoda. I'm going to talk to Rhoda and talk to Rhoda. I'm going to talk to Rhoda and talk to Rhoda. Uh, Rhoda Vandu, Nanu Church Park student da. and uh, Nanu Rhoda is one school la irundhalu, vandu, you know we are years apart so on the time la, vandu, Rhoda va... most 20 years ma yeah <laughs> <laughs> you, you could have been a daughter of mine <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, senior na salam but uh, you know, in the two years naga alumni uh, that we got to know each other. Whenever she used to put Engelkun or Tani group or WhatsApp group la, so avanga yepo me poram bode na vande. I'll be the first one to appreciate her. 
I'll say, Roda, come on, excellent, awesome girl, go girl. I always wanted to, you know, bring her to my friends and introduce her to my team. And uh, Get In, Get Fit series uh, is a series where, you know, uh, three days a week, Monday, uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have yoga sessions from 6.30 in the morning till 7.10. We do all this. We do this laughter therapy. We do exercises. And the entire uh, episode of these uh, three days has nothing to do with what our physical being is, what limitations we have what diseases or systemic problems anybody has. It is just a, a, a series where, you know, uh, when we got in, we had certain issues, but in Yavanda, the Kapro, I mean, the session, Panina, the Kapro, uh, are we much fitter or much better than what we were just a day before? That's all is our aim. And every Saturday, we have a motivator uh, a speech or a person or an expert speaker. And with all due respects to the expert speaker, we want to learn. Uh, we are all ready to be on the learning mode. Like, opportunity But see, opportunity meets preparedness. That's what we say. friend said, friend Sorry, try the funny papo me, a pudding or the da. And other capro, Unga Mela Tanambika, you know that you can do it. You are born with greatness. You have the greatness within you. And it is just that opportunity which you are looking for. And other than the number Kandipa, number the weekly valor in the poem, I'm sure Roda would have, uh, you know, time management, Panir Panga, on the wheat level, the arrangements, Pani to the end of the year of Kame Poga Mudio, Chuma Kalamino, Bagatukino, and Poga Mudia. So, uh, you know, how much of a mind preparation, of a physical preparation, and we know wheat level, the Karela, Tume, and arrange Pani. So over on the nuggets, you can take a story in the road or a take-home message. I am just thankful to Roda for accepting the invitation. And Get In Get Fit series is a I have a huge team behind us. I would like to thank Judeline. She is recording the entire session to be given to all of you. And follow us on Insta and follow us on Facebook. Facebook. Uh, you can follow me on Dr. Vidya Hari Ayer and uh, that's where you would see the Get In Get Fit series. And please post in your comments because it will definitely make a difference. And I would like to thank Pramod also who has, uh, you know, given us the link. And uh, this is um, session seven. And uh, I would uh, just uh, like to say that, you know, for the next few months, we are already booked. Uh, with all the expert speakers every Saturday. If you have any of your friends who would like to talk and, you know, enrich uh, all of us with uh, their experience, we are open. We would love to bring as many people as possible on board. It's a small initiative. Uh, we might not be able to, uh, you know, uh, we are into that uh, format that we are not accepting any money. We are not giving any money, but we want to give good health. Uh, we are in the process of, you know, uh, helping people help themselves. So, you know, we want to hold each of us tightly so that whatever may be the challenge. Today it is Corona, tomorrow it might be anything. But at the end of the day, are we better human beings because of all this? Are we looking out for a better camaraderie, better friendships, uh, better elevation to be good human beings? Can we give? Because the art of giving is so precious precious it's so powerful it's so divine so and the art of giving la inniki roda va namba pesaradhu ketom avangaloda kadai ketom avange eppadi avanga odamba vechittirukanga she's 67 can you beat it i don't want to say 67 years old i want to say 67 years young highly spirited highly effervescent and uh, love you roda love you hugs to you and i just want to read all those uh, uh, good words uh, you know has which has come and we have more than 31 participants here and i just want to thank each and every participant who has come and uh, please uh, keep in touch with all of us and uh, you want the links for the next sessions let us know so here we have Parvati saying good morning to all, uh, but you know, uh, excellent session. Then I have, um, uh, I have Romeo saying that was an enjoyable session, Dr. Vidya and Rhoda. I have uh, Srivardhan saying thank you, Dr. Vidya for this. 
I have uh, Sri Vidya saying, thanks for sharing your views. I have Rukmani Ma saying, your positive attitude and smile and have fun. Uh, and then we have uh, Dr. Vijaya Suresh saying, inspiring you are, dear Roda ma'am. Love to hear your uh, achievement. And we have Surya Ma saying, awesome, Roda. Thank you. Uh, Judeline says, got me glued to the system. Excellent and inspiring session. Uh, lots more, lots more. I'm going to take screenshots of all this and uh, send it to you, Rhoda. And uh, thank you so much. I mean, you know, uh, words would fail to express my gratitude, not only to the participants, but uh, to Rhoda, her family, uh, her entire, uh, you know, she's just back from US and her children, her grandchildren, all her friends who have, uh, you know, uh, been a part of this. Uh, so uh, please send me your uh, uh, invite if you want to get included in the group. I might not be able to check the chat after the session. Uh, uh, my number is 98401-76088. Uh, or you can get my number from Rhoda. Uh, and I would be putting you into this Get In Get Fit series. And you will have a lot of information coming. And uh, we have had uh, some phenomenal speakers uh, in the last few weeks and many more to come. Uh, we are having expert speakers in different fields. Women are pretty based on other gynecologists. We have a lot of people who are in the past with, uh, if you have some injuries. So lots and lots and lots of people coming up. Lots of inspirational speakers. And love you, Roda, from all of us. Uh, you were phenomenal. You were awesome. You were inspiring. And uh, uh, look up on the Facebook today to see Roda uh, in all the pages. We are going to promote this big time. So uh, do share and do keep promoting Get In Get With series. We love you, Roda, and we love your Thank family. You. We are helping you. And tell Baskar, I don't know if that is his name, but uh, tell him, Baskar Anna, for thank you, uh, you know, holding up the. Uh, camera so that we could see you better and uh, yeah so tell him thank you thank you Bhaskarana uh, we would uh, you know we without you it wouldn't have been possible and uh, tell my husband tell everybody and you know we love you god thank bless you. you thank you Vidya thank you that was fun I mean I enjoyed doing it also thank you so much and uh, thank you, thank you, you Vidya best in this endeavor of yours so many many more people will uh, come looking for you Thank you so much. Thank you, Vidya. Bye. Thank you, Roda. Thank you, Thank you, Roda, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roda, ma'am. Thank you, Vidya. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Surya, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rakesh. Sri Vardhan. Thank you, Rohini, Haima, everybody who came. Took the time off to watch. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, nice, nice, Rhoda. Very nice. Thank all of you for being a part of us today. Thank you so much. It's, uh, you know, words sometimes fail to express my gratitude to each one of you. But I can all uh, only say that, you know, you're all on my prayers. And uh, let's make a better, a fitter, and a more promising world. Uh, a world of love, a world of affection. A, love, a world of, you know, what, where all of us would love to really live in. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Vidya. Really, this is a very nice yeah, session you are doing. Great inspiration, Rhoda. Really nice. really ma'am, nice. thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Bye.